Hello. Today is our third Library for All virtual programming. Today we're going to be making some birdseed ornaments and I'm going to begin by reading a book by Pauline Oud and um, the publisher is Clavis Publishing and it's Winter with Lily and Milo. It's winter. Lily and Milo are going outside. They want to feed the birds in the yard. What will Lily and Milo wear? A winter coat or a bathing suit? Will they wear warm hats? Do they put on mittens and maybe a scarf? And how about flip-flops or warm boots? It's much too cold for a bathing suit. Lily and Milo each put on a winter coat and their mittens and boots the scarf and hat help keep them warm too. What will they take with them? They bring delicious apples and some string and also a bag of seeds and a garland of peanuts. But how will they carry these things? In the blue cart or in the handbag? Lily and Milo take everything in their cart. Brr, it's really cold outside. Look, the pond is frozen. Oops, be careful, Milo. Don't slip. The trees are bare. The ground is frozen. The birds can't find any food in the yard. Luckily, Lily and Milo are here to help. Lily hangs the apples and the garland of peanuts in the tree. Milo sprinkles the seeds in the bird feeder. The birds are so happy. Hey, what's that? White flecks fall from the sky. The flecks are cold and wet and white. It's snow. Everything is turning white. Hooray, Lily and Milo cheer. It's snowing. Later, Lily and Milo play in the snow. They sled down the hill. Whee! The snow is slippery and soft. Lily starts to roll a big ball of snow. Will you give me a hand, Lily asks. Milo makes a ball too. What are Lily and Milo making? It's a snowman, Burr, Milo said. Where is your scarf, Lily asks, and your hat? Milo doesn't know, and his mittens are missing too. Lily and Milo search everywhere, but they can't find Milo's mitten, scarf, or hat. C -c -c cold Milo shivers. Let's go inside, says Lily. It's much too cold for you now, but the snowman isn't done yet, says Milo. At home, Lily stumps her feet to clean her boots. Now the mat is covered in snow. It's so warm inside. The snow is melting on the floor. Lily is making soup for Milo. She takes out bowls and spoons. I have soup to warm you up, Milo. Milo, Milo, where are you? Milo is outside finishing the snowman. It's getting dark outside. Bye snowman, bye snow, bye birds. Such a lovely winter's day. For the next part of this program, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to make the birdseed ornaments. I got this recipe offline. There are several different variations that you can choose from. This one just happened to be the best for me. So you're going to start off with unflavored gelatin and you're going to put that in to just some plain water, just regular water. And then what you're gonna do is, you're gonna whisk it and try to get it as dissolved as possible. And then you're gonna take a half a cup of boiling water. This is where somebody's gonna need to help. And you're gonna pour that in and then you're just gonna keep whisking until it's all dissolved. So you want to dissolve the gelatin all the way and this is going to help set it up. Okay, once you're 
finished with that. This is a little trick that I've learned over the years. If you spray your tablespoon with a little bit of Pam, it's really easy to get the corn syrup out. It comes right out. So you're gonna need two tablespoons of corn syrup. And see how nicely that just comes right out? You're gonna pour that in there and you're gonna mix again because you gotta get the corn syrup all mixed in and you have to get the um, gelatin all dissolved. The gelatin is all dissolved, the caro syrup is all dissolved. You're gonna put in two and a half cups of bird seed and you're gonna mix it up like this. And then what you're gonna need to do is, you're gonna need to let this sit in the refrigerator for about 10 or 15, 20 minutes so that everything soaks up and it's ready to put into the cookie cutters. The next part of this is putting them together. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna spray a little bit of Pam into the cookie cutters. And then I'm gonna take the birdseed mixture and I'm gonna really pack it in to the cookie cutter, really pack it in. You wanna fill everything up. And it's gonna look like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a little straw and it's gonna be cut and you're just gonna go and you're gonna put it down far enough so that when you pull this out, okay, it's not gonna break and you're gonna be able to get it out and tie some rope on it. Okay, and then you're gonna put them back in the refrigerator and you're gonna let them set up and if you see here from the hole, you're going to be able to string the string into the cookie cutter, uh, into the cutout. And, and then what we're going to do is in a little bit, we're going to go out and I'm going to show you that we're going to hang them on the trees. Now that we have our bird seed ornaments made, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read one more book, Seven Hungry Babies, and it's by Candace Fleming. And the publisher is Anthium Books for Young Readers. One spring morning, high in a nest, seven speckled eggs begin to crack. Then, seven hungry babies open their beaks wide. Feed us, feed us, the little ones cry. Of course, my precious cuddle fluffs, mama bird coos. I'll fly to the tall grass to find you some food. Flap, flap, swoop, swoop, zoom, zoom, yum. Mama zips back with a cricket for one. Gulp. Six hungry babies squirm, stretch, and reach. Feed us, feed us, the little ones screech. Yes, yes, my noisy warble pies. Mama bird coos. I'll fly to the orchard to find you more food. Flap, flap, swoop, swoop, zoom, zoom, yum. Mama flies back with a cherry for one. Go. Five hungry babies hop up and down. Feed us, feed us, the little ones frown. Settle down, sweet hatchlings, mama bird coos, and I'll fly to the schoolyard to find you more food. Flap, flap, swoop, swoop, pant, pant, yum. Mama puff. Puffs back with a bread crust for one. Gulp! Four hungry babies fret, sulk, and pout. Feed us, feed us, the little ones shout. Hush, you little egg crackers, mom bird coos, and I'll fly to the garden to find you more food. Flap, flap, swoop, swoop, pat, pat, yum. Mama limps back with a pea pod for one. Gulp! Three hungry babies stamp their tiny feet. Feed
feed us, feed us, the little ones shriek. Give me strength and patience, Mama Bird coos, so I can fly to the mill pond to find them more food. Flap, flap, swoop, swoop, droop, droop, yum. Mama struggles back with a minnow for one. Gulp. Two hungry babies thrashing on the floor. Feed us, feed us, the little ones roar. I can do this for my babies, Mama Bird coos. I can fly to the feeder to find them more food. Flap, flap, swoop, swoop, drag, drag, yum. Mama stumbles back with a bird seed for one. Gulp. One hungry baby kicks, nips, and balls. Feed me, feed me, the little one squalls. But Mama Bird can't coo a word. She's completely out of breath, wheezing yet determined. She drops down from the nest. Flap, flap, swoop, swoop, swoon, swoon. Yum! Mama staggers back with an earthworm for one. Gulp! Seven quiet babies finally napping in the nest. Ah, uh, coos Mama Bird. Now I get to... Peep, peep, peep. Seven hungry babies open their beaks wide. Oh no, not this time, Mama chirps. It's Daddy's turn to fly. I hope you enjoyed this, um, the birdseed ornaments for the Library for All program. I will be doing another one in January, so please watch out for that. And again, I hope you make these and hang them up in your backyard on your trees and you can see lots of different birds. Have a great day.